Are you looking for a rubber band board so that you can teach your kids uh, their letters or numbers or just a little uh, like an art project thing to do with rubber bands? I've got some of these right here and I want to talk to you guys about why I like one over the other a little bit more. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So these are rubber band boards. We actually got these from a teacher who had uh, her own school and uh, they gave them to us because our kids liked them so much and they were closing down the school because they were moving away. And what you do with these is you take rubber bands and you have your kids uh, make shapes or uh, do letters on them by stretching the rubber bands across the pegs like that. If you guys want to check these out, I'll link them up down in the description below. But I mentioned that I have two different kind here, and I wanted to tell you guys some of the things that I like and dislike about each different one. Just to give you guys an idea of how this works. Here, look, let me bring y'all down real quick. And, yeah, y'all can see that. So I've got a few rubber bands right here. Like, you can teach your kids, you know, how to make the letter A by doing something like this. It teaches them, you know, how the shape of different things, uh, straight lines and making them look nice and that type of thing. Uh, and then you can also just give them a whole slew of rubber bands. If y'all need some rubber bands, I'll link some up down in the description below. And they can just do fun art projects, stretch out the rubber bands all around. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, have them count. If you want to uh, have them count the rubber bands, oh, how many rubber bands did you use? Well, we used one, two, three, four, five. Or you could say, I uh, make shapes like, you know, a square or trapezoid or whatever. How many lines does it take to make this, sh this trapezoid shape? One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Or you could say, how many pegs does the rubber band touch? And this one would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So you could do it a few different ways, a few different learning strategies here. If they're doing some math, uh, you could, uh, you know, I have this many rubber bands on here. If I add another rubber band onto here, how many uh, rubber bands do I have? And then they can do the math in their head or they can, you know, figure it out on their fingers or whatever. So it's a great learning tool. Now, I have this one right here as well. This one is a plastic one. It has a open back. This one <clears throat> has this, uh, I guess, like a plastic type of uh, just laminate almost on top. But then on the back, it's got like this cork board back that's been sealed. It's maybe like a plywood. It's not really cork. I think it's more of a plywood right there. Um, so, I like... They both have good and bad uses, but I really like this one mainly for durability. This thing is quite durable. Uh, it doesn't flex that much. It's got a nice bottom to it, so whenever you put it down, it's going to stay down. It's got a, a weight to it as well. Uh, I, I actually like the, the wood feel on there as well. And also, the pegs on here, I don't know if y'all can see that, they're rounded. So it's nothing really too sharp so your kids won't hurt their fingers on. Now comparing that to the plastic one here, what's nice about the plastic one is that it's light. It's definitely not as heavy uh, as this big chunky one. There's also a size difference here with these two. As you can see, you get a lot more board with this one here. But whenever you have a size difference like that, this is great for travel if you want to travel with something like this. Easy project that you can do to give your kids uh, something to do in the back seat if you're on a road trip. You just give them this and a bag of rubber bands and they'll be set for a good while. But with this one, I do not like uh, the tops on here. They are flat, but they're not rounded like the other ones are. So they are a little bit more uh, pokey on your hands as opposed to these. You know, they're pokey, but they're rounded, so they're not as hard. Uh, also, the uh, granted, this takes away from a lot of the weight. Um, on the back here, it's open-backed, so uh, you don't have as much weight. But also, whenever it's on a surface and it's moving, you get this sound. That sound, for some reason, it irks me. Or if you have more than one, like, that sound really irks me. So, you know, if you have them stacked in a thing and the kids start playing with them, you're going to hear all this noise. But whenever you have something like this, with the wood on the back, it's not as noisy. And I guess it depends on how many children you have and how many of these you actually want to keep in your house. Uh, all in all, I really like this one as the better one. 
Uh, so I'll, I'm gonna definitely link up both of them for you and if I can find some other styles, I'll link up those down in the description below. But don't take my word for it. Go down into the reviews on Amazon and go read what other people are saying about these products because they might have other experiences with it that I haven't thought of. And uh, just go and get a more complete picture of what you're getting into by using the link uh, down in the description below before you make your purchase. Uh, also, if you have someone who has school age children who's in like kindergarten, first grade, pre-K, you might want to share this on your Facebook page as a great tool to uh, to help your kids learn, you know, math and uh, and letters and drawing and artwork with rubber bands using different mediums to make art. Um, I think that they might enjoy that. So uh, if you guys want to share that on your Facebook page, that'd be uh, I think that'd be a useful tool for some other parents out there. If you guys are liking what we're doing here on Dad Reviews, uh, make sure to click that subscribe button. I'm gonna put a card right here to more educational products that I've reviewed on this channel. You probably wanna go and check out some of those if you're looking for a great gift for uh, a kid that you want it to be educational for, or if you, have, uh, if you have a classroom setting, if you are a teacher, maybe you're looking for some other products. Uh, if you guys are liking what we're doing here, again, click that subscribe button. I'm gonna put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watch some videos. I'll make one of these videos is one of the uh, educational playlist products that I have. Thank you guys for watching and dad out.